A Lancaster County man accused of drowning four puppies in cow manure appeared in court for a preliminary hearing today. Fox 43 Sire Williams joining us now from Lancaster County outside the New Holland District Court with details on the hearing and why advocates say they are there to have justice served for those puppies. Yeah, that's right, Evan. So today's preliminary hearing has been continued several times, but today 46 year old John Stoltzfus has chose to waive his preliminary hearing, bounding all charges over to the Lancaster County Court of Common Pleas. Now, Stoltzfus was charged with four felony counts of aggravated uh, cruelty to animals, as well as four misdemeanors of the same. And today's preliminary hearing was to determine if there was enough evidence for this case to go to trial. Now, according to to the criminal complaint affidavit by the Lancaster County DA's office. Stoltzfus told investigators he put puppies inside a floor type drain inside a barn that served as runoff for the cows housed inside. The drain led to a compost pile where Stoltzfus allegedly told investigators he'd put the puppies remains. However, no remains were found. Now, while this there while there is a lot of anger surrounding this case from animal advocates, Stoltzfus's attorney told me that they will prove the puppies' deaths were done in a legal and humane way. Now, at the courthouse and around the community, advocates have been asking for justice for these four puppies to be served. Advocates stood outside the courthouse today with signs that stated dogs deserve better. I spoke with the founder of Animal Rescue Inc. and New Freedom, who says that this case was not a legal euthanasia, but an inhumane act. Euthanasia is not the word to use at all because euthanasia means a kind death. Drowning in muck, holding a puppy that's probably maybe about 25 pounds in the muck of a cow till it takes its last breath. There's nothing humane about that. I believe he needs jail time. We have to set an example that people can't do this. Prolick also said that she visited Stoltzfus's property to offer help, but never heard back. Now, as for what comes next, Stoltzfus will be arraigned and have his charges read formally. And then from there, he can choose on whether to plead guilty or take it to trial. Now, I did speak with his attorney, and he tells me that they believe that they will be able to resolve this before or resolve this case before it heads there. But make sure you stay with us updated on air and online. Evan. So, Sayero, it's one of several cases in which puppies, uh, or puppy mills advocates say are common places for animal abuse. Can you talk about legislation that's being discussed to regulate that alleged abuse? Yeah, Evan, so House Bill 846, also known as Victoria's Law, is a piece of legislation that advocates are looking to push through. Uh, the bill looks to eliminate puppy mills as well as uh, push uh, the Pennsylvania pet market to connect with more humane resources like shelters and rescues. Now, as of this morning, the bill still remains in the agriculture and rural affairs. It was referred there, and they're looking to see whether or not it will be passed this summer. So we'll keep you updated on that. All right, Sarah Williams, live in Lancaster County this evening. Thank you so much.